online students welcome back to our class uh, that is retail management today we are going to start with our new chapter that is fourth unit in the fourth unit we are going to learn about merchandise uh, management in this yes in the merchandise management uh, what are the things are going to be included we are going to learn in that class so first before going to that uh, i want to tell you uh, the meaning of marketing i mean merchandise management uh, it is nothing but it involves the understanding and evaluating the consumers buying habits the quality source its plan display and stock merchandise it is the process from beginning which involves a strategy where you work towards to an end with a performance evaluation. Merchandise management it means in common parlance I want to tell you that it is a process by which a retailer that means who is going to uh, sell the goods directly to the customer from purchasing from the manufacturer from the wholesaler or distributor. So what is their duty? They are providing the that means they are the providers the right quantity of products are service to the right customer on the right time at right price at right place for meeting the financial goals of the firm. So the process of this is nothing but merchandise management. It involves a series of interrelated activities which initiates from uh, an analyzing your experience is there, analyzing, planning, handling and ends with control of investment in merchandise. So overall uh, I want to just tell you that it is nothing but uh, how the uh, process of the merchandise is taking place with the right person with the, that means the retailer is the person who is providing the goods or the services to the right person that means the right customer with the right quantity of products with the right quality with the right customer with the right time at the right place at the right time that is important now what are the objectives of merchandise see uh, the main objectives of merchandise management is first one like to design and provide an appropriate merchandise mix to its customer. That means to meet the corporate objectives, to define management's responsibilities, to establish timing guidelines for merchandise, to for forecast budgetary needs for management or merchandise. See, objectives of goods merchandising and planning like improve customer services, leading to more loyalty and repeat business which eventually leads to more new business and greater profit. The retailer wants to, what are the retailer want? They want the, to get the right product to the right store at the right time to satisfy the customers with the right place with the right price also. So that is the main process of merchandising. Now, what are the things are involved? Like what are, how the, the analysis of uh, categories of the merchandise management is taking place? The merchandise, the categories of merchandise management is taking place in five stages. First one is analyzing, analyzing the business of the merchandising. Second one is the planning, how you are going to plan, how you are going to run the business. Third one, acquisition means merging. Next one, handling. And the last one is control. What are the things will come in the analyzing? See, analyzing means what it includes, retailer. Uh, that means because the retailer must be able to correctly identify their customers and their needs uh, and requirements for making a good buying decisions. So what are the goods are needed for his customers? He knows that what sort of customers are coming, what are the needs, demands and wants of the customers are there. He should have to analyze and he should have to buy those products which will run in that particular place or area or category. So he should have to segment the market so it is very important you have to take it now not only that we should have to plan that means if you see just have a look on the screen second one is planning planning is what thinking before doing so what are the activities are taking place in the planning that means he should have to note down what are the activities are coming that means what sort of business does he have what sort of customers are coming to his uh, retail shop. So he should have to 
planning properly what sort of product does he is going to start or launch or going to sell in the market and who are the buyers who are the target customers and who are the uh, people that means loyal customers what sort of uh, volume should be there for the products that the customers will purchase for the low volume average or higher quality so that planning should be there so planning is nothing but important uh, to be sold in future must be bought now what are the future goals will be there they have to bought right now so merchandise planning consists of establishing objectives and devising plans uh, that means for obtaining merchandise well in advance for selling season in selling season now acquisition so acquisition means what here the merchandise needs to be procured from others either distributors or manufacturers he should have to and he should acquire merge with the distributor or wholesaler or manufacturer now coming to the handling it involves <coughs> that means merchandise involves seeing that the merchandise is where it is needed and in the proper condition to be sold and it should then control control is required since the function of merchandising involves spending money for acquiring products it is necessary to control the amount of money spent on buying that's the reason merchandising control involves designing the policies and procedures in order to determine whether the stated objectives or goals have been achieved or not those are the things we have now what are uh, what do you mean by merchandise mix see the merchandise mix refers to the complete range of products that the retailer chooses to offer to its customers if in other words if i want to explain it covers the breadth and depth of the products sold by the retailer that means what are the things are needed what sort of customers will come to his shop what sort of goods they are going to ask again and again are in bulk or in good quantity so he should have to analyze that he should have to record that and he should have to bring those things and that buying thing should be in such a way that he should have to sell it and easily the margin of the profit should have to compensate for both for for buyers and as well as for seller the first one is variety so what do you mean by variety so what sort of uh, how many what sort of products are needed for his retail shop what sort of different variety customers are coming to his shop the number of product lines can be there or uh, depth will be there length is there so everything what is that he should the categorize the categories of the customers what see if i take an example of uh, a soap so soaps are like dove soap is there thunder soap is there uh, many uh, soaps are there. so different variety of products he should have to establish because it depends on the choice of the customers who are going to purchase that next one is assortment it means that uh merchandise assortment means our uh, depth or uh, consists it consists of assortment consists of the number of the depth what is the depth are the stock keeping units does it have that means stock keeping units is there with the category and that means you should analyze what sort of brand should be there what sort of type color uh, taste preference of the customer needs he should have to keep in the go down now private versus national brands so what sort of brands are needed to his shop either it will work for the long term or for the uh, short term that means some people they will prefer for the local or private brands some will prefer for the national brands so those depending on the needs and the wants and the demands of the customer he should have to maintain those type of varieties then quality quality nowadays people want that means the suppliers of the merchandise provides where the quantity that means quality in the merchandise assortments so like they should able to decide the purchasing level of the quantity as the consumer shopping at the electronic show if you go the televisions they need the company by seeing the brand of the company national level or international level they are purchasing here they are not seeing the dollars or the rupees of the cost then price points if we are going with a variety assortment and brand and quantity the price should also have to match with those persons so we have to see what sort of people are having the buying behavior and who are going to purchase our products all these things comes under the 
merchandising next now strategy what are the strategy of the merchandise market or management is they should have to create the excitement in the customer so that the customer should have to meet what was their intent the intention is consumer needs are should have to meet an innovation like this creativity should be there in such a way that the people should have to come and purchase the product so they have to create the excitement among the customers for buying it now what is the process of buying merchandise the for buying merchandise that means the, what the uh, merchandise will do on what basis they will purchase by deciding the source of merchandise what sort of goods are needed they should have to decide they should have to meet the vendors or the connecting with the vendors then evaluating they should have to judge and select the vendors and they should have to negotiate with vendors negotiation is there bargaining is there then they have to purchase it then establishing and maintaining the strategic relationship with vendors so all these categories are coming in the the process of buying merchandising then at last they have to handle the merchandise if you see here this picture the merchandise is taking the sample size and this is the figure of the that is the department of the garments at manufacturing units the merchandise is taken in sample size with the fabric or the accessories in the store department then they are spreading the market planning and cutting then sieving is there washing is there quality control is there pressing that means ironing and uh, pressing and folding then packing and dispatching then administration department this is the process of the fabric or uh, of the business how the merchandise is taking place now last one is how the role that means what are the strategies what is the role of that what is the destination of merchandise management is they have to bring the traffic building that means stuff depending transaction building excitement generation now routine what is the main routine of the market uh, merchandise management is transaction building and profit generation next one is seasonal they should have to see the seasonal uh, that means what is the excitement or uh, the creating of the customer they have to create and by seasonal festivals they have to go for it now convenience the transactions building profit generating and image enhancing is the main strategy for the roles of convenience this is the main purpose of merchandise management i hope students so, understand the concept uh, please mention your role numbers in the comment box thank you have a nice day